Hello everyone and welcome back to brand new session for the React Native Tutorials 2020 by UA Studios. My name is Osayat Athar and I'll be your instructor for this tutorial. I hope you guys have subscribed to UA Studios by clicking at the bottom right corner of your screens so that you won't miss any new video tutorials from UA Studios. Why do we need environment variables? Uh, we need environment variables because uh, the API keys, uh, we have secrets or token or maybe network API domain. It contains some amount of uh, sensitive in information that needs to be secure. So that's why we create environment variables by creating a new React Native project. So go to the terminal and navigate into the directory where you want to create a new project. So types uh, in it, expo in it. give it name let's say environment variable it's getting created we might uh, need to wait for a few minutes It is uh, installing all the dependencies required to create a new project. Uh, almost done. Okay, now we need to dive into folder CD environment. Then expo start to run on simulators <coughs> let's open the project in visual studio code now it's a new project i have created so go to app.js file we have this uh, default code here now we have to add dependencies for uh, react native dot environment so go to terminal uh, new terminal then type uh, npm <coughs> npm install react dash native dash dot env then the dash save dash dev it will install the uh, dependency required for the uh, react native <coughs> environment variable so now it gets installed so what we have to do uh, let's create a new file with the name of dot env here Type. let's say we will have we have API URL so let's give API URL equals no HTTP s let's say uh, this is the API URL of our server we, we need to call it uh, so we will um, so we will create environment uh, environment variable file here we will add uh, this URL com slash API then we have let's say <coughs> let's say then we have uh, any key let's say google map key or any server key uh, so we will that we need to make it secure so we will add it here as well let's say give it a name key equals give it i'm giving a random string right then we need to create a config file so but before creating a config file go to babel.config.js here 
here at uh, preset in the preset add module react native dash dot env save both these files then create config file here add another file with the name of config.js we will import our urls here from the environment variable so import api what was the name api url then key from dot environment <coughs> then we will export uh, these api keys key save this file again now where we want to use this file uh, let's say we have uh, this app.js file <coughs> now let's say we we want to use uh, these api keys in our app.js file so import config from dot config right so i will use in this text config dot api url also <coughs> config dot key then save this file and run here you will see as you can see we have imported successfully the url and the api keys now let's say we have a uh, different configuration keys for android and ios so what we will do uh, now here what uh, right now here what we will do uh, let's say add android key key <clears throat> then add ios key right <clears throat> then in config.js file import these keys so we have android key then we have this ios key so import all these keys right so export default <clears throat> then android key then we have this ios key right so Okay, import platform from React Native, <coughs> right? Then what we need to, uh, sorry, my mistake, replace these. then here what uh, we will do let's create let's uh, give it a name let's say it is a map key so map key equals platform it will select uh, what uh, on the basis of platform let's say if it's a uh, ios key then it will show the ios key if it's android then it will show the android key ios then ios key 
else android show android key right now what we will do we will use this map key in app.js file so it will show us uh, it will show us on the basis of platform right so here config.map key right save all these files and if I run here you will see uh, it is showing iOS here not the Android one right and if I run this project in Android it will show me the Android key now that's the preview from the Android devices uh, it, it's showing the Android API key, right?